Hey there, Centrones. I'm going to pose a question to you, but I want you to listen very closely because I want to be completely fair to Behringer. Um, in April 24th of 2022, Behringer put a post up on their Facebook page, and it's it, it, this is what it reads. It says, like most other companies, we're facing unprecedented delays in product shipments due to global supply chain crisis. Uh, and then it says, however, we promise to deliver every synthesizer that we announce for development. Please mark our words and hold us accountable. Well, that's what I'm doing in this video today because uh, my big question is we've got the OBX8 coming out very soon. We also have the whole new line of Roland synthesizers that are going to be hitting the market very soon. Uh, but we have yet to see a new release from Behringer, even though we have had a lot of uh, announcements about synthesizers coming from them. Now, I don't want to Behringer bash. I don't think that bashing anyone or anything is very helpful. Uh, they do want us to hold them accountable, and that's what I'm doing. I'm going back to their post of this year, April 24th, where they actually say that this is the problem. And to their credit, I must say that there is a supply chain crisis that is going on. There's lots of things in my area that are not available and even online that I would like to get that, you know, just not available. And so I, I get that they are having some problems. But it would be nice to see at least one of these synthesizers that uh, has been promised to us to come out and be ready and uh, available for purchase. And it just uh, it just really kind of makes me wonder how we're we're seeing releases from other synth companies. And I'm not asking Behringer to bring every synthesizer that they promised to the market right here, right now, immediately. I know that that would be impossible for them to do, but it would be nice to at least give us one synth uh, soon to kind of uh, give us some faith that they are actually completing these projects in a timely manner and that we're not just getting our leg pulled, which I, I don't think Behringer is uh, purposely deceiving anyone when it comes to their post, I think that uh, they may be shifting a bit of the blame in different areas. And I've said this in another video some time ago. It's been a while since I said this, but uh, I, I am not a synth executive, uh, a synth company executive. I, I couldn't even imagine the um, uh, just, just the magnitude of developing a synthesizer, even if it's a clone. I think I think. Uh, cloning something and i use that word very loosely when i when i'm talking about behringer and their clones and uh that just just brings me to my point it's got to be very difficult for behringer to be pumping these out and de developing these because they're going to be held to such high standards people are going to be looking uh with a microscope at all of these synthesizers to see if they match up and um i guess the the thing is is that it's got to be pretty hard for Behringer to have to uh, develop all of these and throwing it out there that as soon as the supply chain eases up, you're going to see these synthesizers is probably the best way they can think of to uh, give us some hope that these synths are still on their way. And I do believe that Behringer is going to, you know, deliver on their promises about all of these synthesizers and we're going to see them but when are we going to see them is the question and so uh my big question is how are these other synth companies coming out and it's not just chips that i'm talking about okay because roland is is lining out uh their ira uh line their little compact ira line i talked about that yesterday in a video uh they're also coming out with the juno x and uh, the thing is, is that there's a supply chain that affects Roland as well. And why is it that Roland can can do this and Behringer can't? And then there's the OBX8. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people who can afford it are going to go out and spend. I think the OBX8 is going for five thousand dollars. I think that was the last time I checked on it. It was going for five grand. But still, there's going to be people out there that are going to want to go buy that. So. Uh, where is Behringer all of this? Maybe perhaps 
possibly they could bring one of their synthesizers out to kind of compete with these other companies. Although I understand that sometimes companies don't like to release at the same time because they want to leave room in the market for their product to kind of scoot in. But uh, in my opinion, I think Behringer should get something out there and compete with the rest of the boys and gals uh, that are placing stuff out there on the market for sale uh, so that the, uh, the, the complaints about delays will kind of cease a little bit, will kind of simmer down a little bit for Behringer. Uh, but if they can't do it, they can't do it. I just wanted to pose this question to you. What do you think about these delays coming out of the Behringer camp? Leave a comment below. Let's talk about this and keep it civil. Keep it civil. We're all gentlemen and ladies here, I would hope. Until next time, I'm Pierre Ambient Drone. Hit that subscribe button, tap that bell, and above all, keep calm and sent on.